Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be exploring the slider block from Odor. So we are going to begin from our WordPress dashboard. Let's hover over this plus icon next to new at the top and click on page. Now I'm just going to close this notice and let's add a title. Let's call this slider test. And this is just a quick page title, but you may want to give your page a more meaningful title. We also have this section block here by default. So I'm going to remove it quickly. And we can now add our slider block. So let's click on this plus icon at the top. And I'm just going to type in slider in the search box. Now we can add the slider block by simply clicking on it. So now it's been added. We can't really see anything meaningful as yet. We can see our slider block here. And over on the right, we have our default block settings. So we can either upload images from our computer or we can select some from our media library. So let's select some images. Let's use this one. We can use that one as well. Let's use this one at the top of the two characters. Let's scroll down a bit. Yeah, we can use this one. Okay, let's click on create new gallery. Okay, now we can click on insert gallery. Okay, so now we can see that our slider looks way different. We can see the preview of our image as well as some more options on the right hand side in the block settings. And by the way, we are using this beautiful Neve starter site called NFT Illustrator. So if you are a digital artist looking to sell or display your work online, this starter site is going to be perfect for you. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Okay, so we are back with our slider tutorial and let's go ahead and configure our image settings. So we are going to move over to the right hand side to expand the image tab. And here we can see all of the images that we imported. To add another image, just click on this plus icon. And there you can go ahead and select one from your media library or you could also upload one. So for our example, I'm just gonna scroll down. Let's add this image. Let's click add to gallery at the bottom. And now that we have five images, we can click on update gallery. Okay, so now we can move on to the next option. Let's just go ahead and collapse this, um, this images tab. Okay, so now we can set the number of slides to display per page by dragging this slider. For our example, I'm gonna leave it as two. The next option lets us select the gap between our images. So as I move this slider, the gap increases in size. So for our example, we can decrease this gap to something like nine or about 10. I think 10 looks okay. And we can also set a peak value. And this is basically revealing a portion of the next or previous image. Here's the next image, and this is the previous image. So we are gonna keep this value exactly where it is at about 64. Now we can move on to the next option, which is height. Let's move the slider to adjust the height of our images. If you want your images to be tall, move the slider to the right or increase the value. Move it to the left or decrease the value to make it shorter. So we can keep our images at this height or we can set a more specific value. Okay, so that's fine. Now the next option we have is autoplay. You can turn this on or off by toggling this switch. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So let's go ahead and click on preview at the top of the page. Let's preview in the new tab. So here is our slider and we can see that it's automatically scrolling between the images. So that's autoplay. And we can go back and change the delay from two to about one. And this value is in seconds, by the way. Now we can go ahead and observe this change. So our images now scroll every second. You can also pause the slider by moving your mouse over the image. Let's go back to our settings. For our example, I'm gonna make the delay about five seconds, okay? And if you need to, you can also hide the navigation arrows on the slider by toggling this switch, but let's leave it off. The next option lets you hide the bullets at the bottom of the slider, and that's if you toggle this switch. But since this feature could be useful for navigation purposes, I'm gonna leave it on. So this was the last slider option, but I would like to point out a few more cool features. So for example, if you click on an image within the slider, you should see this navigation bar that lets you reposition the image. You can also see a confirmation of this change in the images tab. So you can either use this bar or you can reposition the images by clicking and dragging within the images tab. One more thing you can do is click on this X to remove an image from the gallery. So that's it for our demonstration. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on the publish button twice and you can view your page once it's done. So this is our slider and we can actually wait to see the scrolling delay that we set, and that should be about five seconds. And here it is. If you don't want to wait, there's also the option to click on this arrow. You can also make your design more interesting by adding more blocks. So for example, I just added this heading block and I'm going to move it all the way to the top. Let's say something like popular NFTs. And now I'll press enter to add a paragraph. And I'm just going to add some text from my clipboard. 
Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and preview this design to see what it would look like in a real scenario. So here we go. Popular NFTs, we have a short paragraph and our slider. So now you know how to use the slider block from Order. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.